Bugs are a general-purpose robotic platform. They are physically embodied autonomous agents which interact to form an artificial life system. Each robot is programmed with simple rules such as seek light and avoid obstacles, and the interaction of all these simple robots with each other and with their shared environment gives rise to higher level organization. To understand bugs, we have to take a step back and look at some of the ideas underpinning the system. The first of these is emergence. Emergence is the property which makes some systems greater than the sum of their parts. It is higher level order stemming from interactions occurring between low-level components. Emergent systems are composed of multiple interacting parts, for example, birds. With birds, the low-level components are the individual birds, and the higher-level order is the emergence of the flock. One important property of emergent systems is irreducibility. You can't predict the behavior of the system simply by looking at an individual agent's behavior. Emergent systems also rely on decentralized decision-making on the basis of local information. Examples of emergent systems include ant colonies, schools of fish, termites, bees, neighborhoods, traffic jams, the stock market, and even the internet. Emergence represents a fundamental shift away from reductionism and towards a systems level approach to studying the world around us. Another key idea going into bugs is that of artificial life. So what is life? You know, how do we define life? What it means to be alive? There are lots of different ideas out there about what life is exactly. But one undeniable property of life is that it is emergent. No single element in a cell is itself alive. Yet the interaction of all the non-living elements it contains give rise to what we know as life. Artificial life is the study of artificial systems that exhibit behavior characteristic of natural living systems. It's life as it could be, as opposed to life as it has been known to be. Artificial life represents a split from top-down, rule-based systems of traditional artificial intelligence research. It works from the bottom up, focusing on intelligence as an emergent property of a system of interacting components. While most artificial life research occurs inside the computer as simulation, swarm-based or collective robotics is artificial life embodied. It takes real-world physics as both a challenge and an indisposable ingredient of emergent systems. Collective robots generally do not engage in direct communication. Instead, they act autonomously on the basis of local information from their changing, shared environment. Inspired by social insect societies, collective robots often make use of a concept called stigmergy, or coordination of activity through modification of the environment. For example, ant trail following occurs because individual ants excrete pheromones as they walk between a food source and their nest. Since they are in turn attracted to this pheromone excretion, it generates a system of positive feedback where ants are both attracted to the trail and adding to it, making other ants more likely to follow. There are four main ingredients of self-organization, positive feedback or amplification, the pheromones in the ant example, negative feedback or counterbalance, for example, exhaustion or competition, randomness, which allows for discovery of new solutions, and multiple interactions among individuals. To connect back to bugs, the Seek Light Coordinating Walking Program is derived from these four main ingredients of self-organization. The positive feedback in the system is the individual robot's illumination and attraction to light. As more robots converge in one location, the area in turn becomes more illuminated and attracts more robots to it. There are two negative counterbalances in the system, first being collision and the second being exhaustion. Each robot has an exhaustion function and after a period of coordinated movement it becomes tired and must rest. 
Randomness in the system comes from random walks the robots take when they are seeking each other, and multiple interactions arise from the situation of having ten mobile robots in a relatively small area. Technically, each bug is a small autonomous robot. It consists of a PIC 16F876A microcontroller, L293D H bridge, GM10 geared pager motors, TGS2620 smell sensors, CDS photo cells, lever switches, and LEDs. For further information on bugs, please go to www.deweyhagborg.com.